meteorite discovered in the Sahara. It is the oldest volcanic rock ever found. This rock lay buried beneath the sands of the Sahara, quiet and unnoticed, yet it was older than Earth itself. That it could be 4.6 billion years old. Billion! Before our planet was born, before any tree or ocean existed, this fragment had already seen the chaos of cosmic creation. Named Ergcheck 002. Ergcheck 002 also known as Echo 02, is the oldest meteorite ever found on the Earth. It's a piece of something long forgotten, a protoplanet that vanished billions of years ago. When scientists examined it, they found something no other meteorite had ever revealed. Scientists from France analyzed the rock and say it's unlike any other meteorite we've ever found. But the real mystery isn't just what it is, it's who found it and how. Because in the world of meteorites, discovery isn't about science. It's about survival. The origins of Ergcheck 002. Somewhere in the deep past, just two million years after our solar system began forming, a planet that no longer exists was already alive. It wasn't Earth. It wasn't Mars. It was something else, something ancient and lost. From its crust, torn by some unimaginable force, a chunk of volcanic rock broke free and began a journey no one would ever witness. That fragment, known today as Ergcheck 002, is older than Earth by nearly 20 million years. Most meteorites are made of common cosmic dust, remnants of the swirling cloud that birthed our sun. But Ergcheck 002 is different. It contains andesite, a volcanic rock never seen in any other meteorite. This suggests it came from a fully formed planetary body with active volcanic systems, a body that had heat, crust and life, at least geological life. The discovery of andesite within it challenges everything we thought we knew about the early solar system and its formation. To scientists, that changes everything. It means our solar system might have hosted more planets than we know, now shattered and scattered across the stars. And it means that inside this single rock could be clues to secrets older than Earth itself. But how did this ancient stone survive five billion years of drifting through space? only to land here, on Earth. From protoplanet to sand, imagine a world only a hundred kilometers wide, its surface boiled with lava, its core pulsed with radioactive heat, and its lifespan was over before ours even began. That was the home of Ergcheck 002, a protoplanet that existed when the solar system was still an infant. For a brief cosmic moment, it lived, breathed fire, and then vanished. But one piece of it, this piece was ripped away, flung into the void by some massive event. Maybe an impact. Maybe something even more violent. For billions of years, that fragment floated in silence. No gravity to pull it. No light to warm it. Just endless black. It became a time capsule, preserving the exact state of matter when the universe was young. No erosion, no life, no change. Then, at some unknown point, Maybe a hundred years ago, maybe more, it came crashing down through Earth's atmosphere. It didn't land with fanfare. It didn't leave a crater. It simply fell, unnoticed, into the shifting dunes of the Sahara, a relic of a forgotten world resting on one of the youngest planets in the solar system. No one saw it fall. No one felt it arrive. But it was here, waiting to be found. The harsh truth about meteorite hunting about 2,000 meteorites fall to Earth every year, but most of them vanish without a trace, lost to the oceans, buried under forests, or shattered into dust by rain and wind. Earth isn't kind to space rocks. Weather destroys them, vegetation hides them, and unless someone's looking, they're gone forever. That's why the Sahara is different. It's dry, bare, open. Here, a black stone on pale sand stands out like a whisper in silence. And it's why most meteorites are found not by scientists in labs, but by hunters in deserts. People who know what to look for. People who've trained their eyes to see what others miss. But it's not a job of glory. There are no teams in white coats with lab equipment. There are no satellite-guided scans. Most meteorites are found by locals walking for days under the blazing sun, sometimes barefoot, sometimes without food or water. No guarantees, just hope. And once a fragment is spotted, there's no time to waste. Competition is fierce. Information travels fast. If you're slow, 
someone else will take it, or worse, steal it. Because where there's value, there's danger. And in the world of meteorites, the real fight begins after the rock hits the ground. Meet the real meteorite hunters. If you imagine scientists finding meteorites, think again. The truth is, about 99% of all known space rocks were not found by researchers. They were found by people you've probably never heard of. Desert nomads, poor villagers, and a few daring adventurers who turned space hunting into a full-time job. One of them is Michael Farmer. He spent over two decades scouring the planet for meteorites and has made millions doing it. His life sounds like fiction, crossing war zones, bribing border guards, and outsmarting rivals to snatch ancient stones from under their noses. He's not alone. In towns like Erfoud in Morocco, up to 70% of the population earns a living searching for meteorites. They roam the dunes with magnets and sticks, hoping for something cosmic. These hunters don't just chase rocks. They chase dreams. A rare find could sell for tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes more, especially if it comes from Mars, the Moon, or something even stranger. Scientists eventually study the stones, yes, but without these unknown heroes on the front lines, those stones would still be buried under sand. In the end, meteorite hunters are the reason we even know ErgCheck002 exists at all. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Moon Snacks and Martian Stones What's a piece of Mars worth? At an auction in 2012, four Martian meteorites sold for up to $1,700 per gram. Not per stone, per gram. That's more than gold, more than diamonds. Because these aren't just rocks. They're pieces of another world. And they're rare. Less than a hundred confirmed Martian meteorites have ever been found. Collectors want them not for science, but for the story. A fragment from a nameless asteroid? Cool. But a chunk of Mars? That's something you frame. That's something you brag about. Or, in some cases, something you eat. Michael Farmer, the same meteorite hunter who's crossed deserts and dodged bullets, says he's eaten bits of the moon. According to him, moon rock tastes like crispy sand. Dry, metallic, and strangely satisfying. Why? Because not everyone gets to say they've tasted the moon, he laughs. And maybe that's the point. Meteorites aren't just space debris. They're status symbols, scientific puzzles, and once-in-a-lifetime trophies. People build entire collections worth millions. Steve Jurvetson, a Tesla and SpaceX board member, even made his wedding ring from a meteorite older than Earth. In this world, rocks from space don't gather moss. They gather legends. The darker side. Behind every shiny meteorite in a museum or private collection, there's often a story soaked in fear. Because finding them isn't just a matter of luck, it's survival. For hunters like Michael Farmer, danger isn't the exception. It's the routine. In 2011, while searching for rare fragments in Oman, Farmer was arrested by local police. They claimed he was smuggling illegally. He spent three months in solitary confinement, dropped 30 kilograms in weight, and came out with nothing. His findings were confiscated. He was banned from the country for life. But that wasn't the worst. Just before that, Michael and his wife went meteorite hunting in Kenya. The first two weeks were calm, luxury hotel, safaris, and meteorite shopping. Then, everything changed. Locals who had already sold their fragments saw an opportunity for more. Armed villagers ambushed him. They beat him, tied him, and dragged him into the jungle. With a machete to his throat and a sack over his head, they demanded ransom. He bought his life back with money. But the man who helped him negotiate? He was never seen again. Meteorite hunting isn't just about the stars. It's about what people are willing to do when there's treasure buried in the sand. How ErgCheck002 was found No one knows the full story. ErgCheck002 didn't arrive with headlines. There was no glowing trail across the sky. No fireball. It simply appeared, found in the dunes of the Sahara, in May 2020, a piece of the cosmos disguised as just another rock. And chances are it wasn't a scientist who found it. Most likely it was a local hunter, someone walking beneath the desert sun, scanning the ground for the unusual. 
Maybe they didn't even know what they had at first. Okay, we got a meteorite discovered in the Sahara. It is the oldest volcanic rock ever found. But when scientists finally got their hands on it, they knew immediately. This wasn't just any meteorite. This was something the world had never seen before. Its structure defied classification. It didn't come from the Moon, Mars, or Vesta. Its volcanic makeup, rich in andesite, suggested it formed on a planet that no longer exists. A lost world. A ghost in stone. Under the microscope, ErgCheck 002 doesn't just look alien. It feels ancient. Some say you can see the universe in its cracks. A silent witness to the birth of planets. A survivor of time itself. It's priceless. But the real question is, how much was risked to bring it here? And who paid the price? This rock, older than Earth, sat unnoticed in the sand for decades, maybe centuries, while the world changed around it. It didn't glow, it didn't whisper, but it held the memory of something long gone. ErgCheck 002 is more than a meteorite. It's a message, a fragment of a world we'll never see again, found not by scientists in white coats, but by those willing to chase shadows through deserts. And maybe, just maybe, you've passed by a piece of space without ever knowing it. So look closer next time. Because sometimes the universe hides in plain sight, waiting for someone to notice.